Hi guys. <clears throat> so this is going to be a full moon musing. <laughs> um, I'm like literally in my room. Me and the Luna somewhere around here. And the lights are off. I have like one, two, three, four, like five salt lamps on. But the room is really dim, so hopefully the video won't be too, um, too annoying. I just don't feel like turning on the light. It's too bright. But I wanted to talk about, I have the card here. The Ten of Swords. For this full moon lunar eclipse. Uh, musing that I want to talk about. So, what is the Ten of Swords, right? How does that fit in your definition of tarot? When you see this card, do you cringe? Does it make you nervous? Does it make you um, feel scared when you pull it? Does it make you feel um, worried? <laughs> Do you look at this as betrayal? I used to really like, I used to really look at the Ten of Swords as a card of betrayal. I used to see it as backstabbing. Um, but I think because at that time when I was learning the tarot, I was dealing with a lot of people who were doing this kind of stuff um, in my life. Not just towards me, but I was guilty of doing that to other people in the workplace where I used to work at one of the jobs I used to have. <laughs> I've been at quite a few within the last few years. <coughs> but I was really, I would see the Ten of Swords to resemble backstabbing. And then I realized there's more to it than that, right? So now that I'm in a different place in my life, um, that place being um, just trying to figure myself out career, career path wise, I have always been, I like to see myself as like a ping pong ball, <laughs> like just trying to figure out where am I supposed to be? in my career path and like I said I have jumped around different jobs um, within the last few years I've worked at quite a few libraries um, there was a point where I was like I went part-time I went full-time then I went part-time again then I went full-time and just crazy I have been flip-flopping everywhere and up until this year, I found myself working um, part time, and I'm back in you know a library that I love. I actually really, really, really like this job. Um, and I picked up, as you guys know, or some of you may know, I picked up a second job last week, and it is not at a library. It's actually. An office job um, doing account payable and I made the decision to pick up a second job which would basically land me it, basically I'm working full-time shift right my days are about nine to ten hours um, but I hadn't done full-time in a long time so I'm getting used to that schedule. I'm getting used to the majority of my days, five days a week, six days a week, um, on one week. Um, basically working the majority of the days and not having the free time that I used to have. Because as you know, when you work part time, you have a lot of free time. And in that free time, I would schedule 
in-person sessions or um, I would work on readings or I would go to the library and like check out a, a study room and I would film readings. So I had, you know, the time to do all that kind of crap. And now I don't. And I have felt the other end of the Ten of Swords. And so I wanted to put a video out because I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk. I just feel like in a, I feel like I'm in like one of those moods where I've been spending a lot of like time inward and I'm writing, I am journaling, um, but I also feel the need to verbalize and utilize my throat chakra. So, um, the Ten of Swords is the card that has been haunting me the last two weeks. Um, I have just been feeling very drained, tired, um, frustrated. <laughs> and it's like, it's funny because it's like, I made the decision. I made the decision to take on another job. I made the decision to start working a full-time schedule, even though I know that it's not necessarily my favorite thing to do, but I felt in my heart that I needed to do this to help. Um, I got tired of seeing my husband being so tired all the time. Um, he works so hard. Sometimes he works 14, 15 hours a day. And <clears throat> he's, um, he's amazing, you know? <laughs> But he works hard and I just felt like I needed to do something to help us not just like him but like to help us and so the answer for that in my own way was to pick up a second job and um, bring in you know another income that we could add to our savings because as you guys know like we're saving for a house and that kind of thing um so there's like a give and take and I don't know if I feel like <laughs> I feel like for me personally whenever I want to um do something to improve our situation or my life I feel like there is a price to pay for that I feel like um, like we have to sacrifice something in order to gain something else, if that makes any sense. Um, so I sacrificed my schedule, <laughs> my free time, my ability to devote 50% um, of my days to the cackling moon. I sacrificed that so that I could pick up the second job, so that I could help out financially um, with our situation of saving money for a house. I see it as a long-term, it's, it's been a long-term goal. I see it as it will pay off soon, hopefully, <laughs> as um, you know, we plan to start house hunting in January. But it has been so hard. Um, we moved back home um, December-ish. I think it was like the end of December, early January of 2017. And all of 2017, um, all of 2017, I basically, we paid off debt so then all of 2018 so far <laughs> we have been saving so one year we paid off our debts and then this year we are saving and living home living back home isn't the most exciting thing to do <laughs> those of you guys who have had to move out and then move back home understand um 
So that is like Ten of Swords moment for me. Like I've been seeing the other sides of this card. Um, and not just in, <clears throat> not just in the aspect of backstabbing, you know, so I have been seeing the other side of Ten of Swords and I just wanted to talk about that. I wanted to just share that little thought because, um, it's interesting when you, <laughs> I mean, as a tarot reader, I you know, I constantly are, I'm looking at my life in a way of the cards, right? So if I'm going through something major, I'll think, oh, it's a Ten of Swords moment. So it's like, I always ask myself, okay, like what, what tarot card best resembles my life at this moment? And I can honestly say that the last two weeks, um, easy, <laughs> easily the last two weeks have felt like the epitome of a ten of swords. I'm exhausted. I am kind of, um, I don't know, like I, I'm just kind of like wondering if I regret my decision. Um, I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to understand that this is a process. This is just another process um, for us to obtain our goal. I do know for a fact, because I just feel it in my bones, that when I finally have my house, um, I'll be able to do the most amazing things with the cackling moon. But it's it it also hurts because I I realize like right now, like in this moment right now, um, I have to make a sacrifice, and one of the biggest sacrifices for me is having to let go of something that I truly love in order to make room and time and energy to focus on the, ne the necessities in life. And that is exactly where I'm at. So I just wanted to come on here and share that with a little bit with you guys. I'm gonna go <coughs> film another video sharing, you know, some updates with Cackling Moon, but, um, I wanted to just make a video about the musings of the good old Ten of Swords. So, leave comments below, Sh share with me your Ten of Sword moments. How does this card influence you? How does this card play a role in your life, or how has it played a role in your life? Um, I would love to hear your insights. And thank you guys for watching, and I wish you a beautiful weekend, and a beautiful full moon, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.